work out six string two problems. Given a string, return a string where for every character in the original, there are two characters. All right. So we have to do a for loop go through all the characters in the string. And i equals zero. We don't know how long the string is. i is less than str.length. And i plus plus. And then in here, inside curly brackets. Oh, yeah, also. You have to just make a string to store everything in. So we're making an empty string. And then in here, we're going to add the characters uh, to the string. So we can just say temp plus equals str dot substring i comma i plus one. And we're actually going to just have that line happen twice. So we got to add two of the characters of the same character. And then we're going to say return temp. And that should do it. Um, there we go. I hope that helps. Count high. Return the number of times that the string high appears anywhere in the given string. All right. We need a count variable. We're going to go through the whole string for, with a for loop in i equals zero. i less than str dot length. I have to say minus one because there's, um, instead of just looking at a two, one character at a time, we're going to be looking at two characters at a time. And if we didn't do the minus one, then it would try to look past the end of the string. All right. And if str dot substring i comma i plus two dot equals i, uh, oh, then we say count plus plus. And then after the for loop, we're going to return count. Here we go. Cat dog. In cats equals zero. In dogs equals zero. We're going to count both cats and dogs. Four. In i equals zero. I less than str dot length. This time we have to say minus two because we're looking for three letter words cat and dog. I plus plus. If str dot substring i comma i plus three dot equals cat cats plus plus and then i'm gonna triple click that line copy and paste it and if it equals dog then we're gonna add one to the dogs variable and then down here we can do an if statement or we can just say return cats equals dogs and why do we use the equal sign here? Because they're primitive variables. They're ints. Up here, we had to use dot equals because um, it's a string. OK, return the number of times that the string code appears anywhere in the given string, except we'll accept any letter for the D. So cope and co count. So basically, we're looking for a CO and then another character and then an E, not really looking for code. So. Um, It'll be a little tricky, but we can do this. Um, it's like looking for a four letter word. So int count equals zero. Four int i equals zero i less than str dot length minus three i plus plus. And now if str dot substring i comma i plus two dot equals Co. And I'm going to hit enter so it's easier to read. Uh, str dot substring i plus. Now I'm going to have to write this out. Code zero one two three four. So no minus. So let's see zero one two three. Okay. So we're checking if uh, if i zero uh, zero comma two we get the first two characters and so then we want to check if this character 
which is character three, three comma uh, i plus four, that'll give us this character uh, dot equals e plus print plus plus and return down. That should do it. I'm batting a thousand. That's nice. Let's see, remembering how many I got to do. I did. That's the first one, right? So one, two, three, four. So I got two more and other. Given two strings, return true if either of the strings appears at the very end of the other string, ignoring upper and lowercase differences. So for starters, let's just say a equals a dot to uppercase. B equals b dot to uppercase. You could have made them lowercase too, but we're just making them the same case, so we're just not going to deal with this the case issue. All right. And then uh, we don't have to do a for loop. If now a dot substring. Now at the end, the last, uh, we want to get the last number of characters at the end of A that are as long as B is. So that would be str.length um, um, Let me give him an example here. So we can, um, if we had uh, a, 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 a cat and we wanted to know um, if um, cat was at the end of that phrase, uh, we would need to check Zero, one, two, three, four, five. The length of AAA cat is six, and we would want to start at character three. So that's six minus the length of the second string. So it's the length uh, minus the second string, which is, oh, and it's not str, it's a, and it's b dot length. Um, oh, I just thought of something. They're going to make some of them shorter than the other, and it's going to crash. But we, we'll fix that. Um, if that piece of text dot equals b, uh, return true. We don't have to um, return at the very end. We can re If we found one that's true, great. And now we have to flip this around and do it b dot substring b and it's a and it dot equals a that's checking if a is at the end of b and and then otherwise we're going to return false like i said i'm pretty sure it's going to crash if a and b are out of bounds like if one is longer than the other so um Basically, this first check should only be done if a is longer than b. So if a dot length greater than b dot length, then this is a legitimate uh, test. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And then this one is only legitimate if b dot length is greater than a dot length. Now, is it greater than or equal to? It's probably or equal to. We'll find out. Um, so then open curly bracket, close curly bracket. There we go. Rocking and rolling. And XYZ there. So return true if the given string contains an appearance of XYZ where the XYZ is not directly preceded by a period. So I'm going to do a couple things. If str dot substring zero comma three that gets the first three character that gets the first three characters of the string uh, equals x y z uh, return true. So that's just going to take care of the special case that the, the word starts with x y z because now. We're going to do for loop in i equals one i less than 
start at length, minus 2, 5 plus plus. How do I know minus 2? Well, I've just been working on these problems. And when it's a one character thing you're looking for, a two character thing you're looking for, you say minus one. So if it's a two character thing you're looking for, you're going to say minus a three character thing, you're going to say minus two. So now we're going to say if str dot substring i comma i plus three dot equals x y z and str dot substring i minus one comma i is not equal to is not we're going to do the and on the next line and and this is not equal to period true so we're just that bails you right out of the whole thing and then if we finish the for loop and we haven't done anything else, we're going to return false. Okay, we've got a little error. Oh, interesting. Look at these short strings. So if they send us strings that are too short, we should also just check and say false. So if str.length, they do that sometimes, is less than 4, return false. Because it, it can't have x, y, z. Okay, it's less than 3. Can't have X, Y, Z, um, you know, can't have X, Y, Z with a period before it. Um, I can't even have it if it's less than three characters long. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, there we go.